Hi guys, my name's Reed, and I'm making this video in response to a YouTuber named G-Man, who is a uh, Christian uh, proselytizer on YouTube, and um, he had a couple questions for atheists, and I'm an atheist, and I thought I could answer uh, those questions, hopefully in a uh, manner that um, is respectful and that would be um, more receptive uh, to G-Man, not because the message is different, just because it's uh, brought to you in a more respectful way. So, then a lot of times I notice out there, uh, kind of going more into that, is I see a lot of people kind of cut each other down because they have different opinions or they, uh, you know, don't agree on uh, the facts. And uh, that's, of course, the case between Christians and atheists, or uh, theists and atheists in general. Uh, we just, you know, we have different ideas on things. Um, both of us are trying to spread information to people that we believe is true. And, uh, you know, that doesn't make us bad people. Uh, it makes us disagree, of course. You know, there's good things about uh, G-Man. G-Man seems like a very committed person, um, very loyal. You know, he's obviously uh, invested in what he does. And those are all good attributes. Um, and a lot of the atheists are, too. So one of the questions I was going to answer for G-Man was uh, he had a question about why do atheists make videos? And so, you know, he's kind of questioning, well, if atheists don't have a set of uh, tenets and precepts, then what's the function of um, combating these different theologies, like uh, Christian Christianity, for example, uh, which is G-Men's? Well, the reason for it is because uh, atheists, uh, like theists, believe that uh, what is true is important for people to know, and I believe that. Um, so we talk about this because people will invest themselves differently into different things depending on what they believe. So if a person's a Christian, he's going to go to church, he's going to spend his time um, investing himself into uh, the Bible, into what it says, into adjusting his lifestyle to be a Christian. Whereas if you're not, you're going to invest yourself into other areas, maybe science, um, maybe things that are actually in conflict with what the Bible says uh, in science, like maybe stem cell research would be a good example of that or um, into you know different ways of preserving the human mind and body seeing as a lot of atheists do not believe in a spirit they believe we're physical beings uh, and the brain is a process so a physical process uh, that can be captured and emulated and whatnot there's different technology out there available now uh, that could help us preserve uh, us as humans so those are some of the reasons i see and some of the things i believe um, and why I make videos about atheism, or why do I talk to people about, uh, you know, the evidence for athe atheism through things like evolution, um, or through just, you know, different factual errors you'll find in the Bible. And, um, you know, I know a lot of people go through reasons they believe. There's lots and lots of evidence out there. Um, if Christians are interested in seeing some of the reasons uh, people you know have conflicts with different theologies or with yours for example if you're a christian uh, you could go to the skeptics annotated bible and uh, there's a lot of things that refutiate what's said in the bible uh, right there through the internet it's a great resource and so i'm not going to spend a lot of time going into that since it's uh, already been pretty well established out there on the net um, one of the other things that uh, G-Man had asked is, uh, or claimed is that, you know, atheism, uh, he believes, is a religion, uh, which it's not. And I wanted to go into why uh, atheism is not a religion. Uh, let me first say that atheism does not have a set of tenets or uh, principles, uh, aside from it's just an objection of claims without evidence. So... We don't have like a set of guidelines that tell us to think a certain way when it comes to politics or our lifestyle. Um, it's just basically saying that if you bring a claim to us without sufficient evidence, uh, you know, you are responsible for proving the, the case to us. You have that uh, burden of proof, as you hear a lot of atheists say, to prove to us that this is, uh, you know, true. So we can change our behavior and adapt to it. Uh, so without that, 
uh, there's nothing really else that would constitute us as having a, a, a meshing uh, set of principles or anything. I mean, I know atheists out there who are very conservative Republicans. There's others like myself who are very progressive or more liberal. Um, so we're really from all over you know, the world. We have all different ideals. Um, so we kind of do things for our purposes and you know the reasons why a lot of people atheists out there will spread the word of um, science or atheism or whatever you want to call it is because I think we believe that what's true is important and that people invested in uh, that idea will put themselves in areas that are going to be more productive to society as a whole so hopefully that makes sense to you um, but yeah, we don't have like a doctrine. I know you were saying that there are some books that a lot of atheists read. Well, there's not a whole lot of atheists out there who are really well-spoken um, or write books and stuff. So the, the few that are really well-known, atheists will tend to gravitate to. Uh, I'm not one of the people who've actually read um, The God Delusion and stuff like that, but I uh, am intertwined in a community of people that spread a lot of the same ideas, and I feel like I understand what he would uh, have said or through what they've told me. I've, or those are already things that I um, kind of understand without having to read a, a text to say that. Um, you know, when I grew up, I was a Baptist, and uh, at about age 14, I saw a lot of the problems or had a lot of questions. And uh, after doing some research, I came to the conclusion that atheism uh, makes more sense than a different religion would, like Christianity for me. Um, but, you know, I think it would be the same if I had been uh, a Muslim, though I might have been more challenged to get out of that uh, in a culture that is more vehemently uh, pro-theology. Uh, you know, it doesn't allow for people to be uh, atheists as much. Um, or if I had been in India, you know, what is it, Krishna there, or China, there's Buddhism, there's all different kinds of religions, and we're not picking on one, it's just a lot of times Christianity comes up more in the United States in our culture because that's the direct uh, opposition we get. So uh, don't feel like we're picking on Christianity uh, because we're somehow uh, on the opposite side of uh, the person in the Bible, the God, you know, we're not working for the devil as uh, you sometimes will point out, you know, I think one of your videos was titled like Satan is the father of atheists or something like that, but we don't, um, you know, believe in any of that at all. Like the, the Bible we don't believe in or uh, God or Satan or anything in it. We've pretty much said that the Bible, uh, first of all, doesn't have any merits. It doesn't have any... <clears throat> evidence outside of its actual written work that many of the claims are true and in fact a lot of the stuff in the Bible uh, scientifically can be shown to be false so you have to really question you know well if that part of the Bible is proven to be incorrect then and it's all correct or not then but obviously uh, it would be a very reasonable assumption to say that the Bible is not true Anyway, I'm getting off into some doing, <laughs> talking about some of the things I said I wasn't going to get into. So let me get away from that. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to answer or talk to G-Man about uh, why atheism is not a religion. So hopefully I've done that well. And if you still have some questions on uh, atheism, G-Man, you know, please feel free to send me a response video. Um, or you can make a video and just yeah, mail me that you've made a video uh, and maybe some other follow-up questions you have about that. And then, uh, what was the other one? Uh, oh, why do we make videos? Yeah. Uh, so hopefully I've answered that too, you know. Um, again, it was just, you know, because we care about what's true. We want people to be invested in things uh, that are going to be productive towards um, Secular, or just for humanity in general, it doesn't have to be secular, but just invested in things that are going to help us as a species, um, you know, preserve ourselves or to uh, do better and and uh, move on. So, <clears throat> you know, I know that um, I was kind of summated my argument or summate what I'm saying here with um, this. I know that um, this is not an attractive 
set of ideas through atheism. You know, that we all are finite beings and at the end of our existence, uh, we die and that's the end of us. I know that's not a romantic uh, idea. And for a lot of people, that doesn't give them a lot of comfort or hope. Um, but I believe it is also true and that instead of fighting against it because it's not ideal or it's um, something that's going to be uncomfortable for us to uh, take in, that we should fight against it. <clears throat> you know, I think we need to accept this as a reality and then work towards making the reality better, right? So if our problem is that we die eventually and that everything that uh, has made us or we've invested ourselves in is lost, then let's work on preserving those things. Um, you know, and if all of us are working towards the same goals, we can accomplish those things easier. And there's a lot of um, great scientific innovation and invention and great minds out there working towards this end today. And, uh, you know, they're getting into now uh, scanning the brain and understanding us and how we operate better so we can do things like preserve who we are as people. So maybe someday, um, you know, our bodies might expire, but who we are is preserved uh, for others, and maybe we can be recreated or reconstituted. Uh, you know, atheists don't claim to have all the answers. I think everybody who watches this video can appreciate we all have our own unique perspective um, on the world. We only see out of one set of eyes and we perceive the reality around us from one person's vantage point. And you might ask yourself, well, why is it that I was born in this particular body or in this particular set of circumstances or environment and nowhere else? You know, and that's a great question and one that um, you're not gonna find an answer to really through any uh, work of written theology or through atheism um, you know it's something that's uh, I think a mystery and you know atheism does not have answers to those kinds of questions like I said it's just saying we reject uh, claims without evidence uh, that are less plausible or less credible uh, or more fantastic than your average uh, everyday claim. So those are kind of answers we still have to find for ourselves or things in science that may be uh, explained later on. Um, and things I'd like to know more about, you know. Why is it that I was born into this particular body and have this particular perspective on the world um, and no one else's? You know, that's always been of interest to me. Anyway, guys, um, this is getting very rambling and I need to get to work so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video off here I hope this has been uh, informative to people who watch this video and uh, to you G-Man um, I hope that um, this has been insightful for you and that I've done this in a respectful manner and that you've gained something from this conversation uh, that instead of uh, you gearing up to combat me on you will uh, take in and analyze and uh, see if this makes sense for you you know, uh, unlike other atheists out there, I'm not going to uh, come out and attack you and say that you're stupid or whatnot. Um, you know, and I'm not going to tell you not to do videos. I actually think that the discussion we have is productive towards the entire uh, the entire process of this debate. You know, people see it and they can make their own decisions on what is true and what is false and there's lots of evidence and there's lots of materials and things to research out there so people who are really interested in uh, finding out what is true I feel have a better uh, opportunity to do that in today's world than ever before and I think that's why we see a lot of people changing their minds on um, whether to be a uh, follower of a particular theology or to be an atheist and that's why we've kind of had the current trend you know so anyway um, 
I'll talk to you later.